Hello friends, welcome back. I hope you have been enjoying this series where I am teaching the fundamentals of machine learning, which I am sure you will like it and you will relish learning. In this session, we are going to go with further learning. Yet again, it's going to be fundamentals, but important for you. Variance. What is it? It's very interesting. It's again a number which will reveal and which will tell you how much the values are spread out. There is an interesting fact connected to it. Square root of variance will get you standard deviation. Remember, square root of variance will get you standard deviation. We can calculate it and it's very simple. I'm going to tell you the mathematical way of calculating the variance and it's step by step going to be explained here. It's very, very simple. Let's go ahead with it. I'm assuming the values 85, 86, 84, 83, 81, 80 and 89 and we need to calculate the variance of it. How do we do it? First, I have entered the numbers in the table. I need to now find out the mean, which is nothing but the average. Average of all these is 84. Average of all these is 84. That's entered here. Now, what is the next step? I need to find the difference from the mean for each value. 85 minus 84, 86 minus 84, 84 minus 84, 83 minus 84. I have calculated that. 1, 2, 0, minus 1, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 is the value that I get after I subtract this value from the assumed values. Well, what's the next step? The next step is to find the square of the difference. So, 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 0 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 1, minus 3 is 9, minus 4 is 16, minus 5 is 25. So, we have got the values here which is nothing but the squared values. Now, what is the next step? It's going to be finding out the average of this squared numbers, average of this squared numbers. So, I need to add 1 plus 4 plus 0 plus 1 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 and 7 numbers are there and hence by 7. So, 8 is the variance. So, I have calculated the variance and it is 8. Now, we need to check if what we have calculated as standard deviation in the previous session is correct because we have assumed the same values to calculate the standard deviation. Square root of 8 is 2.82. Hence, our calculation is all right. So, we have calculated the variance and we have cross-checked it with the standard deviation value which we have arrived in the previous session and it's time for us to implement it with simple NumPy code. So, import NumPy as usual, marks equal to, I have assumed these values, now x is equal to NumPy.var. We are calling this var and we are passing marks as argument, we are printing the result and the value of the variance is 8. That's all, it's very simple and session 4 will teach you more on the fundamentals. I hope you are liking the sessions and in case you have any comments, please go ahead and type it in the comment sections. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Thank you.